Well, we see her right now, Lulu Palermo, without the hair ribbons for a change. Lulu blocking back on Marie. Marie trying to get in, but can't do it. Palermo is a good blocker. Lulu slows down again, and there's Johnny Zack is blocking in there also. There's Zack, 62, slowing down on Calhoun, number 23. Tuffy coming in all alone. Now Tuffy's a great scorer, a great offensive player. Tuffy coming in with a chance for one, two, three, four, five pointer. Marie back there to block out. So is Cal Bello in a double block. There's Lulu Palermo ready to lead Tuffy in. Tuffy coming in. Tuffy right through there. Passes two. Keeps driving now. Pass three. Pass four. Tuffy moving in. And the referees call the jam off. Hey, this is going to be something. Tuffy just wakes up to the fact that she got a penalty. And she's knocked down by Murray. Tuffy did not score. All the points she thought she scored. It was illegal because she used her hands on the first two points she got by pulling herself between Murray and Calvello. And Tuffy is red hot. No score in a play. Boy, is Murray. Well, she's red hot about that spill, but she's certainly happy that Tuffy didn't score. There's Calvella patting on the back, and there's Tuffy arguing with the official as well as Coach Buddy Atkinson. And look at him tell that official off. And the official tells them off, too. And the score, Jonas 20, Chiefs 19. Buddy Atkinson is still talking to Tuffy, and Tuffy goes into the penalty box. That's a tough break for the shoulders. It looked like a lot of points. It wound up no points and a penalty on Tuffy. All right, field getting together again, getting ready for the next jam. Time very short in this skating period. Men getting ready to take over. I believe it's about time for one more jam in this skating period, if that. Mitchell's watching the time closely. All set to go. Up front now on a fast break is Jeannie Porter breaking off for the Jolers. And with her, Betty Clements for the Chiefs. There's Clements in white, number 25. And in stripes, number 69, Gene Porter. Porter hits up, or is hit up, I should say, by Clements. Betty, a very pretty gal. Hair blown in the breeze, moves in there with the Indian gal, who's mighty pretty, too. Look at this pack action. Hey, those girls are pouring them in there from the shoestrings. being hit in there by Lulu Palermo. There's Andy Calvello, number 23, in there. Order and Clements coming in now. Here they move. Clements comes in the back of the pack, moves in number 65. Lulu Palermo back to block out. Here comes Murray back to block out on Porter. Order trying to get in on Jerry Murray. Can't do it. Lulu slowing down on Betty Clements. So it's one member of each team blocking back. One member of each team. Merlin Stripes trying to pass Murray, number 22, can't do it. Porter being taken out nicely by Murray. Tuffy back there trying to help her teammate Porter in. Not yet. The Irishman is rough. Murray doing a great job slowing down Porter. Tuffy's down, Porter's down, no score. Oh, is Tuffy hot? Look at this. Tuffy tried to knock Murray down. She fell in front of her, but Murray was okay. And Buddy Agatha says, don't get in the penalty box and the crowd love it. Well, there's Jenny Mullane pitching his skates. Jenny, one of the stars of the Chief team, working on official roller derby skates. The skates of the champions, but now back to the action. That certainly started this off here in this seventh skating period. With a rip snorter. And it would blast Lopez all the way with terrific blocking as we watch Jerry Murray lead her in. All right, ready to go now. And he resumed up front now in the white shirt for the shoulders. Tuffy on the move, wearing that famous number 60 in the back of that white shirt. Tuffy really rocking and rolling. Now here's a gal with short legs. The shortest gal, I believe, in roller derby. It takes her twice as many strides to get around the 18 lap to a mile track. And yet she's been voted the most valuable player in roller derby three straight years in a row by the Associated Press. She's out number two to one, has to cut it off. And the score, 20 to 19, the Jonas out in front of the Chiefs. You get that deal together. Now, whenever a player is out number two to one, as you just seen Tuffy was, the idea is to cut it off if you can. 
And a leading jab player can stop a jab at any time by placing his or her hands on their hips, providing they're in the lead of the jab. Now you get a good picture of the officials in the center with their striped shirts and black trousers and the white stripe up the side of the trousers. All right, jockeying four positions again. Referee said they can go. He waved, and out comes Porter, and Jeannie Porter's on the jam. Porter, number 69, the Indian gal from Buffalo, New York, skating for the Jersey Dolders. We're on the move. Beautiful stride. Talking to many skaters about this gal, Porter, they say she's one of the smoothest skaters ever to down a pair of official little derby skates. Very little effort there, and there's Bucky Buckles talking up for the chief team. And very interested in what the girls do in this sport because it's the only known sport where men and women are placed on an equal basis, where there's an offense and a defense and where there's body contact. And the crowd loves it. Look at the crowd. All right, here comes Porter. Lulu Palermo leading her in now. Porter coming in. Porter whipped around the outside and in there for a score. Porter's got one. Look out, Jeannie. And the official decision, one point gained by Gene Porter of the Jolders. There's Lulu Palermo who helped her in, and there's Jeannie, number 16. Another changeover coming up now. That's all for